Hello guys and what's up? This is a video from Rage Productions and today I'm showing you how to do a like glitch effect. You should be able to see it from the thumbnail of this video but if you don't, uh, here it is. So let's get started. Uh, I've just brought in a picture from Google Images, some um, soccer dude kicking a ball. I just like soccer so yeah. Alright so there is two ways to do this, but what you want to do straight up is Command for Mac or Control for PC. Command or Control J, duplicate set in the layer here, as you can see. And then go to this tool here and create, oh no, go to this one here and just select the thing that you're going to glitch. So. I'm just going to do the body here, and the hand, and just go here, this, this call tool is called the quick selection tool, it's very handy for like selecting parts of an image. Sorry if you can hear the background noise. Ball. And now just right click, layer by cut, layer by cut, yep. And now select. So now what that does is get rid of the background or the person. Um, yeah, so we need to go to this tool, shortcut is it, shortcut for it is M, and yeah, the rectangular sign sign. And now just select little bits, what you want to glitch, uh, hold shift, and then to do a little bit more, and you do a few at the start, and then we go back to this tool, uh, shortcut for it is V, and now with the, your arrow keys, you just want to tap to the side a few times, or hold up for a bit and then command or control J to deselect. I mean D sorry, command or control D. And again with this layer selected do the same. But for this one we're gonna do it the other way, so there, the ball. Uh, a little bit on his foot. it here and again back to here and tap it to go the other way and bring back the last image and as you can see there that is a successful little glitch it for making a nice background it's good to do this at the end but don't do it as much as this because as you can see there it's looks a bit dodgy but yeah and then I'm going to show you another way to do it which is pretty much the same thing but we're doing the whole image the whole background stuff not just uh, the person or the ball or something so get rid of that get rid of that <coughs> Being pardon now let's duplicate it hide this other layer and do the same thing again really so oops my bad just go that hold shift one here on the boot here and v click to the side a few times command d um same thing Oh, actually, I did that completely wrong. My bad. We were going to do the whole image, so just go big long lines, small, small lines. But yeah. Now, these to the side a few times. Do so. Back here. You guys should know the process by now. Little bits. 
V and select the other way. Put the other image back and as you can see, it looks quite good around here. A few things are jumbled up. And I'm just gonna quickly show you it on text. So let's just type in Rage Productions 24. Size it up a bit. Okay, we're just, we're just gonna quickly choose a chunkier sort of font. I know this one will do. Mm -hmm. Go to the background, change it to a different colour, like a nice leaf. And same thing applies, except the thing what you want to do here is just uh, de rasterize this type or something. But oops. Um, same thing really. Choose little bits. V. Click to the side a few times. It does look really good, especially on text, in my opinion. If you want, you can do it down right, downwards, but I don't think it looks as good. They so up and down. Yeah, it doesn't. It does, and it doesn't. Mm, all up to your opinion, anyway. That's the video. I hope you liked it. Drop a like. It really helps me. Show the support. Subscribe for more tutorials. And yeah. Bye. Have a great time.